how to make a YouTube banner. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can create your own YouTube banner. So let's get into it now. YouTube banners are super essential to represent your YouTube channel and they could be anywhere from artistic to simple banners that need to illustrate your YouTube channel name and some, you know, overall aesthetic of your YouTube channel. So how can you build a simple YouTube banner? Well, this requires no expertise at all. You can easily build a YouTube banner with canva.com and all you need to do is register your account on Canva. Once you have registered your account, we're going to begin creating our YouTube banner so to get started first off you can see the youtube banner is very large in size so you need to create a banner of optimum size and the optimum size for a youtube banner is 2560 by 1440 pixels so you're just going to go on canva and you're going to click on custom size and you can even search on canvas templates so you can even search on canvas templates and search for youtube banner and they will show you some, you know, simple banner designs that you can pick out from. You can pick a design from over here if you want. However, you can even get started from scratch. So you can click on create a blank YouTube banner or just go into custom size and enter the dimensions that I just told you guys. So it is 2560 by 1440 pixels. You can convert this into inches if you want. But once you do that, this is going to be your canvas. So from your canvas, you're going to begin designing your youtube banner now the first thing you want to choose is whether or not you want to incorporate an image so you can see some banners are like this where you have your own image if your youtube channel focuses on you if you're making vlogs or something like that then it could be like that if it's a gaming channel maybe you want to go with a more you know gaming kind of aesthetic like this one so depending on what kind of channel you have you're going to focus your aesthetic on that now i want to build a youtube channel banner for a channel that is focused on art and you know lifestyle so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to first off color my canvas i like to do that the first thing as the first thing and i'm just going to make it like a light pastel kind of pink because i just don't want it to be super dark i want it to just serve as a base color and then i'm going to go into elements and i'm just going to search for historical so once you search for historical, I'm just going to go into the graphic section. You can see there are quite a few different interesting illustrations. So depending on what the aesthetic is of your YouTube channel, you can take any illustration, you can search for any kind of illustration. And a lot of people ask me, you know, is it not infringement of copyright when you take elements on Canva and you repurpose them or sell them? As long as you're not, you know, just taking the illustration and, you know, selling it as it is, as long as you're adding alternating text or, you know, combining multiple elements together it is considered absolutely legal so don't ever worry about that you can easily simply do this you can easily simply build your youtube channel using these elements you don't need to you know worry about it or anything like that so let's say i just want to add some old books and a rustic kind of aesthetic so i'm going to search for old books and i'm going to go into the graphics section or you can even go into the images section and take a image but I want to take a simple illustration like this one over here this is super interesting or maybe I want to create a floral background depending on whatever fits the aesthetic of your YouTube channel because this is lifestyle I don't think I want to lean too much into the antique element so I want to maybe focus on lifestyle and you know a more cleaner aesthetic so for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for gradient and I'm going to go into the graphic section and you can find multiple different gradients over here and you can change the color of the gradient as well so you can pick out any kind of gradient of your own choice now i'm just taking this gradient over here and i'm just going to expand it like so and i'm just going to use this to add like an image so let's say i have a youtube channel called sarah's home and lifestyle so i'm just going to use this as a image grid and now after that what i'm going to do is i'm just going to search for lines and I'm going to go into the graphic section and you can see there are multiple different designs that you can pick out from. I want something that is neat and interesting. So something like these petals over here and I'm just going to color them white like so. And I'm just going to use these to frame the side of my canvas. 
just doing command C and command V will allow you to, you know, copy the same element over and over again. And we're just going to align this properly like so. We're just going to align it like over here. And once you have aligned that, we can just go on ahead. You can search for more designs as you go. You can keep on looking, but I just want to add some flowers as well. So what I'm going to do, but before I do that, I'm just going to search for grid. And you can see these are multiple different image grids that you can find over here. So you can pick out any kind of image grid. I will just search for circular image grid. So you can just go into the element section and search for frames. And I'm just going to take the circular frame and I'm going to place it over here. But I'm going to expand the size of the little decor uh, like background item that I picked out because I wanted to you know be a bit more visible and now I'm going to place the image grid and now I can upload any image of myself or of whatever my YouTube channel display photo is you can upload that as well I'm just going to search for any random girl's image and I'm going to use that as a person's image so I'm just going to use this image and once you have uploaded your image, you're just going to drag it onto that circular grid and now you can position it like so. And you can click on these three dots over here to apply colors to the page. You can, you know, customize the overall look of the image on the grid as well. And we're just going to, uh, you know, resize our frame a little bit like so. Or maybe I want to rotate this so the colors are present on the opposite side. Yeah, I think this looks a lot better now. Now, once I have placed it like this, what I'm going to do is I want to add the YouTube channel name. So for that, I'm just going to select the text over here and then I'm going to scroll to the bottom and you can choose any of these text combos. They are super nice and elegant. Uh, so I'm going to take this one over here and I'm going to remove all of the smaller text. I'm just going to take this text over here and enter my channel's name. So let's say our channel name is Sarah's Lifestyle Vlog, so you can just enter the channel name. And now I'm going to change the color of the text to be white. And now some of you guys might think, okay, white is, you know, not very visible over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on elements and I'm going to just search for box. I'm going to go into the graphics section. I'm going to take this simple little square box over here. Or you can just go into your elements section and you will see lines and shapes and you can pick out any shape from over here. So let's say I pick out this shape over here. Now I'm also going to slant my text according to the shape because I think that will look a lot more interesting as compared to, you know, like a straight uh, text that looks a lot more, you know, fitting of the, the overall aesthetic I'm looking to pursue. So we're just going to do this and if it's not going to space out as you want it to space out, you can always go on ahead and add multiple different text blocks. So just expanding the block in the back where I want my text to be, I'm just going to place the text and I'm just going to place the top text over here and I'm going to remove the bottom text and I'm just going to do command C, command V. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the background color of my box as well. So I'm going to make it like a photo color. You can see you get the photo colors over here and I'm just going to use one of the purples, uh, one of this light purple. And then you can also, if you're going to go with the darker color like this pink, then I'm going to just place the pink color. And now I'm going to click on my block over here. Click on these three dots on the top right and click on the transparency. And I'm going to make it semi-transparent. So it serves like as a background highlighter of my text. And now you can see my cover has been created. I can click on share and click on download to download my YouTube banner. And that is how simple and easy it is. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.